The fallout continues over the firing of eight U.S. attorneys. Now, another Republican is calling for U.S. Attorney General Alberto Gonzalez's resignation. Congressman Paul Gilmore of Ohio is just one of a handful of GOP members saying Gonzalez should quit. And he joins us now from Capitol Hill. Congressman Gilmore, thanks for joining us. Thank you. You know, you have said you would like Gonzalez to resign. Would you go further and ask for the president to fire him? I think that's the president's decision. What I've said is uh, I think the president would be well served and the department would be well served if the attorney general uh, did step aside. I think you have to have uh, a certain degree of confidence, the general public and the operation of the Justice Department, and there have been enough problems there, uh, but I think it would be better for him to step aside. You know, White House uh, Press Secretary Tony Snow said the uh, President hopes that Attorney General Gonzalez will stay to the end of his term, um, and he also said that Gonzalez has the confidence of the President. Some saw that as uh, there's some daylight between those two statements. Let's listen to what Tony Snow also said. The Department of Justice has said that it will supply uh, materials and also uh, witnesses for House and Senate committees, and they've been very forthcoming. It has been our hope that members are going to behave responsibly. Now, would you agree that the Justice Department has been forthcoming? Well, I think uh, there have been some mixed signals from the Justice Department. Uh, hopefully at this point uh, they've got their act together and uh, they will be forth forthcoming. In terms of who's actually going to testify, I don't know if that's resolved. I, you do have a serious issue of, uh, of executive uh, privilege and you also have a kind of unseemly atmosphere about this. It's, uh, it looks like uh, partisan politics in uh, full gallop. And I'm concerned that we have confidence in the Justice Department, not who's scoring political points. Partisan politics at full gallop, and yet is there a bigger, a broader issue here? Well, I think the issue is uh, how the department operates. I think there have been some very serious mistakes uh, made. The national security letters uh, flap to me was... Uh, probably more important uh, in the big picture than uh, the removal of uh, some attorney, uh, U.S. attorneys, which is hardly uh, an unprecedented action. You know, you've uh, actually been quoted as saying you see a pattern of things at the Justice Department. Um, would you support legislation that would modify the Patriot Act at this point? Well, I think uh, I, would, I would support one of two things on the national security letters either modifying the act or getting some real assurance that the act is going to be followed. It's, uh, you know, it's a basic uh, premise that whenever you give government uh, powers, especially broad powers, at some point they're going to be abused. You know, the White House denies that the attorneys were fired for political reasons. Uh, the emails, though, between the Justice Department and the White House may su suggest something different. Um, what do you think should be done if the attorneys were not fired on job performance but for political reasons? Well, you don't, uh, there's, you don't have to be fi fired on uh, job performance. Uh, I think it would be wrong for any administration to tell a U.S. attorney uh, that, that they have to prosecute somebody or not prosecute them. But I think it is appropriate for any president to uh, give some direction to the U.S. attorneys as to the type of issues uh, that they want covered. And that's a different thing uh, than job performance. You could uh, remove attorneys for not uh, having the right uh, priorities as opposed to for bad job performance. Let's go to what might happen. Uh, Senator Patrick Leahy is the chair of the Senate Judiciary Committee. He's calling on um, the White House political advisor Carl Rove and White House counsel Harriet Myers to uh, testify publicly under oath. Let's listen to what he said earlier. I've reached a point where I'm not here to negotiate. I want the answers. Uh, they can either supply the answers voluntarily or we'll subpoena them. It's as simple as that. The American people deserve accountability. They know that the story changes every single day when you pick up the paper from the White House. Uh, they deserve accountability. We will get it. Are we at the point, sir, where you would support subpoenas? I don't, I don't think I am because the, the point here is to get the information. Uh, I think what the senator wants is to have a kind of media circus uh, and I think we have to consider the issue of, of uh, executive privilege, whether it applies in this case. Any president, Republican or Democrat, has to have some confidence that the few people around him closest uh, can give him advice without concern about uh, 
him testifying. And I guess one question uh, for Senator Leahy is whether we'd be following these same actions if we had a, a Democratic uh, president. And another thing, frankly, that bothers me in terms of the appearance of propriety is that one of the leaders in this effort is the chairman of the Democrat campaign committee. Mm -hmm. It is, as you say, a, a difficult issue, a very big issue, and, but one of great importance, and we will follow it very closely this week. It will be an eventful week. Thank you very much for joining us on the program to discuss it. Uh, Thank Congressman you. Paul Gilmore. Coming up at the top of the hour,